Hello all, welcome to Uncommon Geeks. Myself Asant. I hope you all doing well. So as you know, I have already discussed about functions and different aspects of the function in my last two videos. And this this video, like I promise, I am going to discuss question and answer that are generally asked on functions. Okay. Uh, in case if you are not in my previous video, I would I would highly advise please go ahead and watch it. I'll add some description somewhere on the link and also somewhere on the screen. The reason being where that, that is those are the videos where I have explained the concept. And if you directly land in this video, you may face it difficult to answer. Okay, the question that I I ask in this uh, uh, video. Okay, without wasting further time, let's get started. So, this is the question number one. Very straightforward. If you watch my first video carefully, you will be able to answer this without any problem. Okay. So, if you know the answer already, mention question number one in the comment section and put your answer. For those of you who are not so sure about the answer, uh, let me explain the question to you first. Okay. So we have a uh, anonymous function called const square okay where square is a function and uh, inside the square what we are doing is we are basically whatever the input that we are getting whatever the value we are getting we are squaring it n into n okay and in line number two we are trying to log the square and in line number three uh, we uh, we are trying to invoke the square function by passing the value of phi okay my question is what will be the output now after i explain the question in case if you understood and you know the output um, please do mention question number one and put your answer. If not, let me execute it. Then I'll explain what is happening. Okay. Or without executing also. First, let me, let me walk through what is happening. Okay. So line number four, const is square. So and in line number two, you are trying to print square. Just to see this part. Okay. Do, let's say this part is not there. Okay. This part is not there. Only this is there. What would have been the output? You would have got a reference error because const is hoisted, but it goes to a temporal dead zone. So line number two square has no value, correct? So due to which you will get a reference error, right? So what's happening is the same. So here also here you should, should get a reference error, correct? So why I'm explaining this is you have to break down the question into piece chunks and understand it carefully and tackle it. So now you know here we get a reference error. First let me execute it. So reference error cannot tax a square before initialization which is right the same way we predicted the output is coming so if there is a reference error or a reference error is actually a runtime error if the program crashes here it doesn't go to the next blocks so we don't know what is happening here okay now uh, what would happen here is also i have explained in the previous video that is the variable declared with const is hoisted but the function is not hoisted so whenever you try to invoke square you will get an error that uh, and I mean basically I don't know where the function is. I don't know the exact error so I'm telling but the error would symbolically mean the same. So I'll comment this line and let me execute it here. So you would get reference error cannot access square before initialization. It's saying the same I don't know man where is square. I cannot invoke it. Okay. So now so this much if you have understood and you know basically square is the very important thing you have to know here is const square is hoisted but it is in temporal dead zone square of phi is not hoisted so this is the expectation from the interview point of view you should know in depth what is happening okay now so uh, let me do this rather having const i'll make it var so only if you know the concept of hoisting variable you will be able to answer it otherwise no so if you don't know what is hoisting i'll link the hoisting videos of mine in the description go ahead and watch it so basically what's happening here is we have a function called square this has a function you know that variable create with a var keyword or hoisted and initialize with the default value of undefined so what should be here it should be undefined here you you only guess what will happen here obviously this will get hoisted again the function will not be hoisted so you get a reference error there also but this line will execute successfully and the output you get is undefined see you're getting undefined then a reference error okay this was about the first question so to answer this first question, you should know the concept of hoisting. Uh, you should know the concept of uh, anonymous function and uh, hoisting with different keywords like let var key and uh, to an extent the scope also. Then only you'll be able to answer it. Okay, let's go to the question number two. So question number two is here. Very straightforward question. Okay, glance at the like glance at the question. If you want, pause the video. Uh, glance through the question if you know the answer mention question number two and answer it okay this is very straightforward question the reason i've taken this type of question is um, it looks very easy but unless you have a deep understanding about the fundamentals of javascript you may end up do making a doing a wrong answer 
okay for those of you who are still struggling to answer let me give let me walk through you the question so we have a function called test which take basically takes an object and objects make we are changing here and in line number 21 we have an uh, object called car details which has make model and year okay what i'm doing here is car details make one car details dot make card and i'm calling the function test then again i'm printing the same so this is first and second before invoking function and after invoking function okay this is an object now if something is flashing in your mind pause the video work on it then mention question number two and put your answer okay still it is not flashing you are not able to identify what is happening let me walk through so we have a object called car details and this has three things so to answer this question i'll give you one hint you should know what is deep copying and shallow copying in javascript if you don't know what is deep copying and shallow copying i'll link my videos on deep copying and shallow copying in the description or also somewhere on the screen go ahead and watch it then come back to this definitely you'll be able to answer okay uh, so this car details is an object so whenever you call a function and pass the object okay uh, but, but but i'll tell before i explain the answer in detail what most of you might have guessed so car details dot make is honda so first thing will be car details dot make one will be comes as honda and second you are invoking uh, after you invoke a function but car details make two and you are trying to print make so no matter you called a function or not because function is something the whatever change you do that is inside this block so you would think nothing affects and here also it will come as honda only both but it doesn't work like that okay the first i'll show you the output so we first you get honda second you get toyota okay the reason being whenever you call a function and pass the reference type so whenever you passing an object it is not a pass by value it's a pass by reference so you are modifying the reference here when you modify the reference obviously you will be both the i mean whatever you change the modify here or here they both internally point to the same reference okay you may have variable a and variable b but ultimately they are pointing to the same memory location so even if you change it here it will get changed in the outside also so due to which the variable is getting updated okay so to answer this question you should know what is deep copy and shallow copy you should know what is uh, function correct and after knowing all those things definitely you will be able to answer it so this is about question number 2 let me go to question number 3 okay and this is a slightly tricky one uh, not because of complexity because of the arrangement of the things so you may get slightly confused hmm? if you want to go to glance through the question pause the video glance through it and work out and if you know the answer mention question number 3 put your answer or if you facing little difficulty let me walk through the question so what we have is we have a function called get store and inside that we have two variables called variable number 1 and number 2 you already know from the property of closure so add is an inner function get store is an outer function this together is a function nesting so add function has access to these variables which are declared outside okay this you already know now what we are doing name scored number 1 and number 2 number and one number 2 are defined here but the name is something that is not defined in the outer function but it is defined outside the function so which is in line number 42 so will this closure have an access to that name if it doesn't then it comes as undefined if it has an access then it should print chamak okay so think through it and put your answer now i explain the question very much in detail and i have broken down the different parts also so if you know the answer guess the answer let me show you what happens so chamak scored 5 is the output so name has come from here scored is a string number 1 and number 2 are basically taken from here now you know what might have happened so the name though name is defined here it is able to access this name okay because basically the closure definition says the same variables declared or the variables in function declared the outside of the function can be accessed inside the function that's the property of closure if you remember from here okay i have removed the definition that is what the closure is so it has access to the name so we do to which we are able to uh, get the name as a chamak now i'll give a small assignment you have a number one number to here and number one number to here remove the number two from here okay then number one number two addition what will happen check whether will it given throw some error or will it take the number two from here okay that's a small assignment for you so mention uh, question number 3a and if you are able to solve that put that in the comment section okay so these are the three question that i want to cover for this video because we are already almost uh, around 10 minutes so i don't want to stretch this video there i have couple more questions on the normal function which i'll be asking in next video if you would have liked my video please do like it on my youtube channel if you want your friends also to get benefited from this benefited from this please do share with them do not forget to subscribe to uncommon geeks
and i have linked my medium blogs links on the url uh, in the description section where i have written a uh, lot of uh, articles on the different topics and my github urls also on the description where this project whatever the questions you are saying right this projects are being uploaded you can download it follow me on github and practice all those questions thank you so much for watching catch you in next video